Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to, uh, well, actually, let me let me start that over again. I'm starting a new series of videos here on my channel that nobody watches. Uh, I'm going to call it Morgan's Organs. As you can see, I have quite a lot of organs. Got more in the garage. We'll get into that one in a separate video. Uh, but I'm going to start with this one today. This is, uh, hi Willie. This is a very special organ. This one, as you can see, we have all the paperwork and stuff that went with it. This is a 1959 Wurlitzer model 4420 electrostatic reed organ or free reed organ. And uh, let me turn the vibrato off here. This is a tube organ, as you saw from the, the beginning shot of the video. And it's got a different sound from pretty much every other organ that you'll find out there. If you can find one of these, there's not a lot of them left. It was a very expensive organ to make. See, I got the sustain on. I'll turn that off. These are the stops I have on. These are the ones I have off. I have a tone coloring stop on. The bottom one, I just have that one on. Now, let's put the vibrato on. You can hear it a little bit. Now, what makes these so special, one is, is the way that they produce their sound. Is in that box, there's a bunch of reeds, and they use them as electrical contacts. It's a very unique way of doing it. And here is the tube amp, um, which is why a lot of these aren't left, because a lot of people steal the tube amps out. But let me tell you, guitar players do not do that. Okay, first of all, it's ruining a very unique and rare piece of American manufacturing history. Uh, these organs will never be made again. They'll never be made... You'll never find an organ made to the standard again. But, on top of that, you get more bang for the buck by keeping everything inside the organ. Okay, we got a Jensen speaker in there. It's a P12P. Dates to the uh, 40th week of 19... I know you can't see it. There's not a lot of light. Dates to the 40th week of 1959. The organ was made in 1959. Still in fabulous shape. But, again, don't pull the amp out and trash the organ. Because if you do that, if you take the amp out, then you can't run the vibrato. And let me tell you, if you plug your guitar in here, and you, you can run it through this vibrato, and it's different and cool. And... Again, you have to find a place to mount the speaker and mount the amp. Everything's already mounted in this thing. And, again, then you get an organ to play, too. But you also get this cool-ass vibrato. Three different speeds, two different depths. Or three different depths, two different speeds, sorry. And you can't, you, you can't get that circuit if you take everything out. Okay, and all you need to do that, you need one of these, see, goes into the, the, there's a treble, pull one of those RCAs out, you stick a little other adapter in there, and you're ready to go. Well, I'm going to run out of video here, so I can't do that, I'm going to run out of battery too, um, looks like I got a 7025, it's not firing in there and a 12AX7 that's not lighting up who knows I haven't gone through this I just got this uh, last weekend today's Wednesday so I picked this up on Sunday this was a Sunday grab 
and I'm going to do more in-depth videos. This is just an int introduction to the Morgan's Oregon series of videos. We're going to go through this one, this one, this one, and this one here is a special one. This one you've heard on a very popular rock record. And I'd tell you the wrong thing, but I don't want to fool you again. Hmm. I won't be a baba about it, but who could have used it? I don't know. But maybe if I do this... Oh, it's not plugged in. Ha! Ah, anticlimactic. I wonder if uh, I am giving you enough clues. I wouldn't use a substitute on you. <laughs> I'm being dumb. This is a model TBO-1. Yeah, look it up. You'll know what I'm talking about. And people have done enough videos on Hammonds and stuff that I, we're probably going to skip the Hammond in this series and focus on these other organs because there's not a whole lot out there on them. So that's the introduction. Really just wanted to show you all. If you come across one, don't please, please, please don't trash the organ. Okay? Please, don't do that. It's a small organ. There is room in your music room, or your house, your studio, for this little organ to live. It deserves to live. You wouldn't trash an M3. You wouldn't trash an A100. Okay? Don't trash one of these. Just because you don't recognize it as being a rock organ, it doesn't mean it doesn't have value. And sooner or later, someone will come along who wants the whole thing and not just the amp, and you will have ruined it. Because you're going to pull the amp out, play it for a little while, lose interest, and move on and get yourself a Fender or a Marshall. Okay, but in the process, you've destroyed one of these forever. And that's a really bad way to go about doing things. There are other organs that are, you know, you can trash them pull stuff out of them. If one of these is a basket case and it's completely trashed, except for the amp, then yeah, you're doing it a favor because you're, you're using whatever's left that's good. But if it works... Then why are you destroying a good working piece of history? These will never be made again. Ever, 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 ever. 1959... 59 Les Paul, 59 Strat, 59 B3, it's a 58 C3 over there, okay? This was the pinnacle of American manufacturing. No planned obsolescence. Pride, mucho pride in what they did. Pride in materials, pride in workmanship. I mean, these things are still running. It's, never, it's got the original tubes, for God's sakes. Okay, these are all Lowry... I mean, sorry, Wurlitzer branded tubes. This thing's never been touched. It's never been out. Look at this speaker. The speaker looks <laughs> untouched. Okay. What piece of plastic crap made in the last three years is still going to be going? In 60 years. None of it. It's going to be melted down and turned into freaking Nikes or something. So do the world a favor. At least America, where you can find these. I don't know if these were sold overseas, but don't trash them, man. Alright. That's it.